Say hi, y'all. What's up? Welcome to Costa Rica. Pura vida. But our flight is delayed for like four hours, three hours. Um, so if you know, you know. Back. 
and those pennies that you guys get it will be a, such a great unique experience to purchase something and interact and challenge your Spanish with the locals at the supermarkets or anywhere else you know with the uh, local currency Good morning. Our flight got in very late last night. It was delayed twice. So I didn't end up getting to our hotel until about 10 ish. Um, but today is our first full day in Costa Rica. Um, I showered last night because I wanted to get up early because the hotel is really, we're at the best, the best Western because it's super close to the hotel. Um, but we're not staying here. So we are just here for the night and then we're gonna pack up load the bus and then head to our next location but it has this really pretty area where it's just open outside like in the hotel i'll show you anyways um wanted to take some pictures have an early breakfast um so yeah so i'm excited first full day today we doing some dancing classes and um kayaking so let's get into it okay so i am up dressed we are very cute today and just dropped my bag and suitcase off on the bus because we have a three hour drive today and now I'm just on the way to get <laughs> so hot to get breakfast with the rest of the group and then yeah we're on our bus ride headed to our dance classes years old we take us to a, a, a birthday party yeah. and we don't even know how to dance oh hell yeah we have to <laughs> learn and, you know you just like we we'll go with the music rhythm, like go, just go like that, salsa and merengue, you know? And we love dancing. I mean, we all have like the Mark Anthony salsa music, you know, we have <laughs> Selena music. No, right, right, I'm right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Somos fiesteros hasta la muerte. We love party until the end, until the dark, we die. <laughs> so that's the plan today. We're going to dance. We're gonna we dance dance. Uh, one hour. So we're going to sweat a lot. We're going to jump and dance and learn all the uh, the basic steps okay so you can tell um, you can tell once you get back home now I get some uh, some hot sauce written in my blood <laughs> yes how about that catch me next time <laughs> we have uh, about a million about a million uh, citizens living in the, in the capital we're five Costa Rican five million Costa Ricans living in our whole country. Uh, we're about the size of West Virginia, United States. Okay, we're a little bit bigger than Switzerland. 82 counties right now. Used to be 81. Now we have 82 counties. We have seven provinces. We have a president right now. Of course, it's a democracy country. Every four years, we vote for a president. Uh, the new elections coming in February 4th. Okay, so next year, just in a few months, we will get a new president. Behind us, we have the San Jose, Costa Rica capital, right behind us, and right after this bridge, we have another province, it's called Heredia. This is the most popular uh, uh, um, uh, games we have in our country, soccer, you know, soccer, this is ours, this is, yeah. this is our soccer. In La Liga, the league, this is my team, they're not that good, but I'm very proud. I'm <laughs> in red and black, that's La Liga, that's my team. Okay guys, check this out, this province on the left hand side. This is Heredia. Heredia, if I ever if I ever buy a property, I would love to live in these mountains. That's one of the coolest places in Costa Rica to live. I mean it's nice and cold up there. I like the cold temperatures. I love low I like low temperatures. If if one if I wanna name them, name them. We got the first one that I've been active since the last four years. This is called Turrialba. That's on the south side of the country. We have Poas. That mountain on the left hand side, that's Poas, right where the clouds is getting covered. And covered this mountain, that's Poas. P O A S, that's another active volcano. Around 6,500 feet above sea level. That's a very uh, active volcano. We have the Arenal, that's the one we're going today, which is we're about two hours away. If we don't have any delays on the way. But that's the another active volcano. Then the third one, the Arenal volcano with over 6,000 feet above sea level since 1968 that volcano that was the first time erupt ever in 1968 uh, we got the third volcano uh, that one on the on the left that one it's uh, uh, sulfur you see the green one on the right 
So those two rivers join into one river and it flows into the uh, Caribbean side, into the San Juan River, which is the uh, Costa Rica boundary. <laughs> that one is called the Rio Sucio, the dirty river. Okay. That is not Thank dirty you. from garbage. productive area, very rich soil for any agriculture and also a lot of uh, tourism coming through this town. We are right now 1500 feet above sea level, it's a nice temperature outside, still a uh, little warm, a little humid, but it's better than all the places where we're going on this trip. This little town offers you everything you guys need, ATMs, drug stores in town, ice cream shop, the best ice cream shop in Costa Rica is called Pops, P-O-P-S, Pops, yes, uh, so you definitely have to buy uh, ice cream up there, they also have right next to the ice cream shop, they have a gelato, uh, if you guys want to try some Italian uh, ice cream. And uh, we have Costa Rican food, if you guys want to get some Costa Rican food for lunch, I recommend a place, it's called Las Cinco Hormigas, the Five Eights. That's the uh, Las Cinco Hormigas, the Five Eights. Guys, by the way, this is all pineapple fields. Huh? Well, not anymore. They're going to regrow, replant uh, pineapple. But uh, right now it's been burned. So that means they're going to uh, harvest as papaya. Papaya. Yep. So, guys, after dancing, we're going to drop you off in town and you have some free time, like hour and a half, two hours, something like that to explore downtown and get your own lunch. We have a lot of uh, uh, very diverse menu. It can be uh, uh, gluten-free, vegetarian choices, Costa Rican food, uh, uh, seafood, steakhouse, whatever you want. So the town is a little town, but uh, it got everything that you need. And if you guys need ATM, that will be by the gas station. Uh, there's no way to get lost in town, which is only like five blocks, that's it. Uh, fruit stores everywhere if you guys want to try some mangoes later um, so I'm now I'm now always with you guys so you have to challenge your Spanish try to ask like cuanto cuesta how much is that cuanto cuesta you know so try try your best with Spanish and then we'll get back to you in Spanish or English sometimes so remember guys if you pay dollars uh, like small items or small things that you guys buy on the way, they're gonna give you a bonus back. Try not to use your credit card because, of course, they charge you a little fee.
Okay. We just finished our dance class and we're going white water rafting, but before that we are getting lunch. So the town we are in is called Fortuna. Um, the dance class was, woo baby, sweaty, but it was so much fun. We learned four different types and it was a vibe. So now I'm changed for white water rafting because you know, I couldn't be all glam and all of that inside of the kayaking. What I said, we're doing white water rafting tomorrow. Kayaking is today. So here we go. It is raining. I have an umbrella on the bus and I did not think to grab it. Child. But this is a cute little park that I wanted to come look at. We drove by it, by it, by it, by it. And I thought it was so cute. Sangria. 
with the very American accent. <laughs> Areno. Arenal. There you go. Areno uh, volcano. Wow. 6,000 feet, 1,700 meters above sea level. That's an active volcano. Okay. That's the Arenal or Areno Lake. We're paddling. See those boats on the other side? That's why you guys started the uh, uh, kayaking activity. We're just going for 24 minutes to get it there. So the kayak activity. You guys going to go for an hour and a half kayaking? Family. They're like right here at the oh. Those guys are also crossing the road. They're scavengers. They're related to raccoons. They're not monkeys. They're not it's lemurs. Just, I'm like, no. Oh. They, you, they're yeah, scavengers. They eat anything they can find on the way, whatever. They're scavengers. Oh whatever. They eat worms, oh fruits, insects. They're oh all family. God. They're right there. Unfortunately, uh, uh, tourists that they don't know about, much about. Uh, uh, what these guys eat, they feed them with crackers or cookies or anything, oh but uh, we look shouldn't him, him, feed them. Oh, That's forbidding so in this country to feed animals in this country. They're like ugly cute. So we call it quite Okay, we are kayaking. What's this lake called? Lake Arena. Le lake, Ar lake Arinal. He said. <laughs> lake Arinal. That's with the, you know, the Costa Rican accent. Um, that is Brittany back there, my kayaking partner. We are kayaking. Um, it is gorgeous. I don't know if I can turn it around. I'll just I'm not in this. That is a volcano over there. You don't oh. figure. Hey, did someone bring us? Right now. 
save some money. So I feel like that kind of evens out. And now we're having lunch. Nachos. This is Sabrina. <laughs> There's some water over there. It's very beautiful. I feel like we were, it was only two hours, but do you feel like it was longer? It might have been. Like, I feel like it was more than two hours. Yeah, it's 1.30 now. and sugar but to, for you to know that you're eating a dark chocolate bar the percentage of cacao in the bar has to be 97 no 70 percent and above that's dark 90 percent is dark yes yeah. <laughs> so milk chocolates what percentage is milk chocolate less than 70 oh my god you guys are so good <laughs> From 50% up to the dark chocolate. Kirsch with Mars Nestle. That's not no chocolate. That's 8, 10, 12%, 20%. No. Put eight dab of chocolate in it. Who likes white chocolate? Yes. That's not chocolate. Why is it not chocolate? There's no cacao. There is no cacao. It tastes good though. No sugar. No cacao. Not chocolate. Hey. Perfect. Has anybody seen a real life cacao fruit before? Yes. You have? In the Dominican Republic, yeah. yeah. Oh, cute name. Yeah, no, no, I just, I got excited, I got excited, because that is sweet, like the, that first one, like when you take it out, I was expecting it to taste like cacao, but it's sweet, like candy. Okay, so the seed itself is very bitter, but surrounding the seed, there's a white yes. pulp that's very sweet. The animals love it, monkeys, squirrels, woodpeckers, they love this stuff. So you're gonna be my animals today. <laughs> <laughs> you get a chance to taste it. We're gonna open it and taste it. Is that okay? Yes. yes. Excellent. What are we doing today? We're gonna work. <laughs> there is a drink known as the drink of the dogs. Made for Quetzalcoatl, the name of the god. Water, cacao, chili, corn, and vanilla. Mm. I'm gonna do something for you right now. I'm gonna give you an extra chocolate question. Who makes that drink? People from where? Brazil. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Who is that guy? Guys, all make in Maya from Central America. But you said Brazil. Why? Because uh, most of the uh, chocolate comes from Coffee comes from there. <laughs> I don't know, I just, it was a wild cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's cacao, it's native of Brazil. Mm. That's what okay, Sarah, from. Sarah, no. Girl, <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> mad at me. Guys, we have all indigenous students that want back here, we gotta work with you. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Anybody have any questions about anything you wanna know about? So look at the documentary, it will give you not only what's happening, but gives you a list of companies that are involved in the process. Okay, what do you call the documentary? The dark side of chocolate. Guys, we're gonna make that drink. I hope you're okay with that. 
From here, we're going to go to that plantation. If it's not raining too bad, then I'm going to try to talk a little bit about the tree. If not, we'll go directly to the area where we start working with the seeds. We've got to open the fruit, taste everything. And then afterwards, if it stops raining, then we can walk the plantation a little bit, okay? A bunch of cacao trees. But everything starts out like this. There's a little flower bud. That up into beautiful flowers like this one over here and this one over here and this one over here. And from the very tip of the flower you got little baby cacaos growing. Tiny cacao. Okay? It takes from a flower to a ripe pot six months. <laughs> How do we know the fruit's ready? Well the color's gonna change from green to purple to yellow. But right behind you guys here on or above your head, you got one that's got green and a little bit of purple on it too. That one too. And that one too. Why? Why the difference in the color? That because we're working with a hybrid, a cross-pollination between two different types of cacao. Brought together for a good reason. One has good defense against sickness that can harm it. The other one has good quality cacao. So somebody said if we get them together, we get the best of the world. That process, by the way, was found in Trinidad and Tobago. It's called Trinitario. All right? Um, the green turns yellow, purple turns orange. That's how you know it's right. Six months from a flower to a ripe pod, the tree gives you fruit all year round, and it starts to give you fruit when he's about two and a half years old. These guys are eight and a half years old, so they've been giving up fruit for a while, but they can live about 80 years. Oh, wow. By the first 30, 35 years of his life is the best production time. So by that time, you want to have new ones coming so they take the place of the old ones. Cool? Mm -hmm. It can grow 50 feet high. But if you let it get that big, then we can't get to the fruit. So it's very important, guys, that we give or we prune the tree to keep it low enough for us to work with the tree. Because the fruit will not come off the tree all by itself. This guy is very small. And if I try to pull on this guy, you shake the whole tree. It won't come off. And if you do that to the bigger fruit, not even really not going to come off. It needs to be cut down. Okay? The fruit will rot completely on the tree and still will not come off. Because a rotten fruit is going to give you or attract bugs. The little fruit flies that pollinate the flowers are necessary obviously for the flowers. So the tree says, nope, I'm going to hold the dead fruit that's attracting bugs and I'm not going to let that drop until I decide it's going to drop. And normally they don't let it drop. They just disintegrate in the tree. This is awesome. I know. Yeah, it's very similar to what we did in the in the DR. I'm glad I was right because I was like, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but no, it's the same. Holy this is so dope. It's been off and on raining the last two days, but today it like actually has been raining all day. But I mean, rain in Costa Rica, honey. We're not complaining. I actually don't know how to get back. Where's the thing?
It's so crazy. It's really sweet. It's, like, it's so weird. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> over here, over here, over here, over here. We need some too. Wait, how do you turn off the second? Oh yes. Oh, he's looking at my soul. Yes. Chocolate soul. Down for me, please. Oh. Lady, you are gonna put both seeds in your mouth. You gotta suck on the seed. You don't chew. You suck on the seed. If it tastes good, you say, Mmm. Does not taste good. Mmm. I will. Mmm. Can I? Can you see? Can I see? Mmm. I did really good stuff today. That smells much better. Wait, okay, 15 days total or like after the set? Okay, so 22. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all right. Because I was confused. I lost my seven days. Yeah, this smells way better. And it's smaller. Alright, All right, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. That smells good, right? Yes. Mucho bueno. But that's still not the type of smell that we want. We need one more thing. Sugar. Sugar. Close your eyes, make a wish, throw that behind you, get rid of them. You can smell any. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, that was kind of hot. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> That's such a good aroma. It's not bad. It's pretty good, but it's not that bad. It's just not as good as I thought it would be. Definitely a little bitter. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it though. Yeah. <laughs> so that is 100% cacao. Mucho bueno. Now for this part, I'm gonna need four volunteers. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey now, hey now. If you volunteer for this, you cannot back out on me. This is a trap. I am warning you, it's a trap. Oh. So if you do this, you gotta go all the way. There's no so backing out on that. Okay, three, three boys. Yeah. Two, up here. One, two, three. Now I need one more girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. You want to do it, don't you? Come on. Uh, they said they were crazy. Okay. We're about to find out. Back up a little bit, brother. Let one do it. Be careful. Look at my face when I'm doing this. <laughs> Boring. So I call my friend Cortez. I say, hey, Cordy, <laughs> what can I do to make this fun for people? People are not enjoying it. He said, well, what happened? What are you doing? He showed him what I was doing. He said, no. You got to teach these people the traditional indigenous ceremonial dance. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know there was a dance, so he sent me a link. I looked it up on YouTube and got the dance down pretty good. And with that dance, there's a song. So my very own DJ Patricia. <laughs>
Dr. Dono.
<laughs> made it in the vlog. Like really Mama, I made it. Must more must. Yeah. 